Okay, so in this video, we're going to start looking at uses of integration. So not just mindless sums for no reason. It's going to start seeing why integration is useful and how we can use it. So in the intro to integration video, uh, a few videos back, we looked at, say, the sum or the equation here, y is equal to x squared. Okay, if we remember differentiation, so it's easy to get confused between integration and differentiation. So to try to keep the rules uh, in your head, just to the difference between them. So in this one here, that's going to go to 2x. Okay, so if you differentiate x squared, you get 2x. And then integration now, um, I'll do it over this side in red. If we want to integrate 2x, okay, that's going to go to, say, 2x squared over 2, which is just x squared. Okay, so basically what I'm pointing out is that if you differentiate something, so differentiate y is equal to x squared, you get dy dx is equal to 2x. Then if you integrate that again, you're going to get back to what you had originally, you have x squared. Okay, and you can put a plus c in there as well. Um, but basically, that's what the use we're going to look at. So if someone gives you a dy dx of a, an equation, then you can integrate it, and you can find your original y or original equation, okay, which is pretty useful. So I'll just scroll down here, and then I'm going to write a small question. So hopefully that makes sense, that little bit. And go blue. Okay, so I just wrote that example out. So the example we have here is dy dx is equal to 6x cubed minus 4x squared plus x minus 5. Um, and we need to find what y is equal to. Okay, so we're going to do that by integrating this. So again, if you want, you can skip, you can pause the video, uh, try the question, and then skip ahead to the end to look at the answer. Um, it'll be a bit more interesting for you anyway. So, but I'm going to go ahead and start the question now. So let me just scroll down a little bit. Ooh, a little bit more. Here we go. So I'll go in green. Uh, if we integrate, so y is going to be equal to the integration of 6x cubed minus 4x squared plus x minus 5 dx. So exactly what we have up here, if we integrate it, we're going to get our y, okay? Um, so if you integrate this here, it's going to be 6x to the power of 4 over 4. Okay, so the number at the front, so the 6 here, just kind of stays a 6 itself and you just integrate the x cubed. And then afterwards, now the four and the six might cancel, you can simplify this. But hopefully that makes sense that you just integrate the x part basically and the number stays the same. So this is gonna be minus four x cubed over three plus x squared over two minus five x plus c. Okay, and I'm just gonna simplify that in one more line. Scroll down a little bit and I'll finish it in red. So y is going to be equal to, it's going to be 3x to the power of 4 over 2 minus 4x cubed over 3 plus x squared over 2 minus 5x plus c. And that's our answer, okay? So generally with integration, you're going to get quite messy answers with fractions, and that's just down to what integration is. You, you have to divide it by whatever the power was. So um, don't be too worried if you get messy answers like that. That, that is the correct answer. Uh, so yeah, hopefully that made sense. And next video, we're going to look at how to get the constant of integration C. Okay, so that's a big question they're going to ask quite often. Um, but we need to know how to do this first. Okay.